Hello and welcome back to another video. And this video is, yep, it is a new The Island of Stone episode called Freya's Color is Missing. It's season 1, episode 22. And yeah, so first up, before I read this, I want to say that it has been 4 months, or maybe 5, since the last episode. And wow, I've been really lazy. It's the longest I've been working on a new Stone Wolf episode so far. And I think I remember seeing the last one. I was going to try to get it out quick as possible, but that was definitely a lie. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It was a cold night in early March, and Freya was about to go to sleep in her cave. She took off her red collar and put it on her bedroom stool, and then put it on a pink nightcap. Oh, <sighs> so tired, Freya quietly said. She then lay down on her bed, forgetting to close the window. In the morning, Freya woke up and left her small bedroom to eat her breakfast. She wanted to eat pancakes and scrambled eggs for breakfast. So, she got pancake mix, an egg carton, and got a bowl too. She poured the whole mix in the bowl and also added water too. Then Freya got a pan and coconut oil and put it on the stove. She put a little bit of coconut oil on the pan and waited until it got melted by the heat from the stove. Then the can <laughs> then the pancake batter was added on the pan and when it was all finished, Freya got a plate and put the pancake on it. Next she next she had to do was make the scrambled eggs. She opened the carton and got two eggs. She then cleaned the pan and added coconut oil again. Next, Freya cracked the two eggs and waited a little bit until it was okay to mix it up. Finally, the scrambled eggs went to the pancake and could finally eat it. Taking a bite out of the pancake, Freya said, Hmm, good, good as always. Using her fork with her knife, with her, with her right paw, she ate the scrambled eggs and liked it, just as much as the pancakes. Now, Freya needed to clean her teeth, so when she did, so... When she was in her small bathroom, she did that and flossed her teeth. Now all I need to do is get my collar and go outside, Freya positively said. Oh, I should have done it in a positively voice. However, when she walked in her bedroom, the collar was gone. In shock, Freya went on her back le legs and yelled. No! So loud that her next then neighbor Sparkpot heard her. She took a deep breath and then said, I'm too where is it? Looking very worried. Sparkpot rushed to Freya's cave, but before she went inside, Sparkpot said, Freya, what happened? Sparkpot worried. My, my collar is missing! And I liked it a lot. Oh my gosh, Freya, don't worry, we'll find it. Sparkpot come Freya. We better! Freya shouted. Sparkpot turned her head and looked around the room, but didn't immediately see any color lighting around. Looks like we gotta look deeper. When did you last see it? When I was about to go to sleep, Freya answered. Alright, so let's look around your bed, Sparkpot said. They both looked behind the drawer, under the pillows, and in front of the bed, but there was no color. However, for some reason, they completely forgot to look under the bed. Welp, it's not there either, Sparkpot said in disappointment. No, I think I might just cry. No, please, don't, there's still hope, Sparkpot tried to cheer up. They both walked to the right side of the bedroom section and pushed a wardrobe out of the way to see what's behind it, but there was nothing. I thought there would be something in there, since there's a wardrobe in front of it, but still no, Sparkpot said. I might have nothing. I might have another panic attack now, Freya said frightened. Don't have one, Freya. How about we go to our friend's den? If they have something you like, suggested Sparkpot. I guess, sighed Freya. So then the two went out of Freya's cave slash den and went east to get to Clawthorne's house. Sparkpot knocked on the door and Clawthorne opened it. Oh, why, hello there, Sparkpot Freya. What brings you here? She greeted. Hi, Clawthorne. We're here because Freya lost her collar and maybe we could borrow something from you. Sparkpot calmly explained. 
Oh, sure thing. I've got lots of things that might help. Come on in, Clawthorn replied. The two went in the house and rotated their heads left and right to see the inside of the house. Then Clawthorn walked them to the right hall where there was a room with some clothing. All right, so let's try out some of the accessories in this empty room, Clawthorn said. She picked up a flower crown and put it on Freya's head. Then she got a small mirror and pointed it to Freya's face. What do you think? Clawthorn asked. I don't know. Okay, I guess. But this flower crown looks like I wear it on a different occasion. Freya disagreed. Okay, then. Let's try something else. Clawthorn replied. Then she found a collar with a small spike at the rim and a big bow on the back. Clawthorn asked Freya to try it on and looked at the mirror, so when Freya wore it on her neck and took a look at the mirror, these thoughts came in mind. Oh, wow, looks decent. What was small spikes through? What if I poke someone with them? I don't get how you think you could poke someone. I mean, they don't look too sharp, Sparkbot thought. Freya t took, it, take, took it off and said, Let's see what else you got. Freya then found the royal blade bracelet and gave it to Freya to try on. Oh, this looks nice. Do you want it to borrow it for a little bit? Clawthorn asked. Sure, I guess, Freya agreed. Now what about this ram spiked headband? Clawthorn asked. Eh, it looks weird. It looks like it would it can bother me, saying her opinion. Alright then, Clawthorn purply said. Also, I don't know. I don't want to look at what else you got anymore, Freya said honestly. Well, that's completely fine. Would you like to have a treat? Clotho roared. Sure, but what is it exactly? Freya asked. It's a it's a homemade vegan granola bar. Here, I'll show you. Clotho convinced. The Freya then walked to the main room and Clotho picked up the granola bar to give to Freya. Freya opened the wrapper and then put the granola bar in her mouth. While chewing it, Freya was enjoying it. What do you think? Clawthorn asked. It, it, it's so good. Do you have more? Freya asked enthusiastically. Uh, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Clawthorn said nervously. No, this can't be. Freya frowned. Yep, unfortunately. Clawthorn sighed. Well, I'm going back home. Are you going back home as well, Freya? Sparkpa asked. Yes, replying with a simple response. The two got out of Clawthorn's house and went to their west side to get to their caves. Bye, I hope you'll find your collar soon, Sparkpa said. Freya didn't answer and went inside to her home. Freya lay down on her bed, letting out a big sigh. However, she now remembered that she never checked under the bed. So she checked under the bed and found her ribbon red collar. That was where it was all along? You got to be kidding me! It must have blown away by the wind last that night, Freya said. Hey, over here! So, yep, that was it for that episode. And the next, and the next episode, well, I'm still working on it, but maybe it'll be a, an episode about Katrina, you know, the purple cat, and the episode name might be called The Investigation. So bye and see you in the next video.